Hey, what's going on, Pit Crew? I want to take a minute to thank every single one of you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. The reason why I'm doing all of this and showing you all of these really cool places and doing these investigations and all of that is because of you. So thank you so much. You guys are awesome. If you have not subscribed yet to the channel, please consider doing that. Hit the notification bell so that way whenever I post a video, you'll never miss it. I have some really cool things in the works for you guys, things that I really think you're gonna like. Without any delay, I'm taking you guys to a really cool place I didn't even know about. It's 30 minutes away from here. And fun fact, it's about a half a mile away from where I grew up, which is really cool. I had no clue this place was here. You are not gonna wanna miss this video. This is a really unique, interesting place. Can't wait to show you guys, let's go. All right, guys, so I am in Seal, Alabama at the Museum of Wonder. It's a drive through museum, one of the coolest places I have ever seen in my entire life. I'm going to be talking to Butch Anthony a little bit later. He is the artist who came up with this wonderful place. I'm going to show you guys around a little bit and show you what this place is all about. Let's go. All right guys, so Butch Anthony has just arrived in his cool little get up here. How's it going, Butch? All right. Thanks for meeting with me, yeah. man. Um, so what started the Museum of Wonder? What, what caused you to create this? Oh, when I was little, about 14, uh, back in the 70s, I found a dinosaur in the creek down here in Seal dinosaur bone of a big mosasaur and um paper come along and auburn came over and said it was 65 million years old wow so I, made, I made a little room in my barn down here at the house and put it on a little pedestal and people started coming looking at it they put it in the paper and then people started bringing me stuff and just one thing led to another all right so people brought you this stuff and yeah. then you put it in the museum did you purchase any items at all oh yeah and then i make stuff too so, I mean, right i was seeing some of your paintings yeah, it's very cool stuff paint. what made you put it right here i mean was there an, oh I, it was over on four house road forever at my house so many people got to come and i said hell i gotta move I, I gotta put it where people can just drive through and look at it so this little piece of land came open when the highway came through and I got it. How many items do you think that you have total in this museum right here? Oh, I don't know. It's a bunch. Uh, a couple of thousand, I guess. Let's see here. This is pretty cool. It's a woolly mammoth jawbone. Yeah, yeah, so I saw that. From the Ice Age. Somebody was cutting a gas line up here and dug it up with a trencher. Really? Yeah. It's all kind of stuff under here. See, this was the shoreline 65 million years ago. I was going to ask you about this. Is there anything significant about this land or the surrounding area of the oh, land? Yeah. This was the old federal road that came from across the Chattahoochee and went to Montgomery and all the way to New Orleans. It was one of the first roads in America. And you mentioned something about the, the Trail of Tears? Oh yeah, that's where they rounded up all the Creek Indians back in the 1830s and started up right at the Chattahoochee and they walked right through here going to Montgomery to get on a riverboat to go to Oklahoma. So there's a lot of history. Oh yeah. A lot of history. So can you show a little bit more of your artwork? Yeah, well, I've drawn a lot of skeletons. Any reason for that? Any reason why you draw skeletons? Well, because I found the bones when I was little, you know. So I found these old portraits and I just draw skeletons on. This one isn't one like that. That's just something I painted. 
So Butch, how long have you lived here? 58 years. 58 years. Yeah. This is home to you, huh? Yeah. I traded that Cadillac for a paint. Uh, Leon Russell, he's a famous rocker. Yeah, Leon Russell, yeah. yeah. Right before he died, he bought him a new car and he's like, I'll trade you this for a painting. So I went up there to Nashville with a truckload of paintings and put them out and he picked one out and drove that back home. No way. So, yeah. so you traded one of your paintings for a car. Yeah. That is, and Leon Russell on top of that. That is so cool. I don't think they'd get a good appreciation unless I show it up close. Look at this. Yeah, the Trail of Tears or the Federal Road came right through here. And P.T. Barnum walked right through here in 1837. P.T. Barnum. Yeah. This Very was cool. a major road from Columbus to Montgomery. That is Lafayette so cool. came through here. Lafayette did too. Charles awesome. Charles Lyle, all kind of famous people. I'm not going to keep you too long, but I did want to ask you, and this is for all of my fans out there. Are you a paranormal believing man? Have you had any well, stories? People bring me so many things like that. Somebody's always bring me some Bigfoot hair. Or yeah. They saw the Bigfoot down here. You know, they're supposed to see one down here on the river. Rude Mounds. I may need to check that out then. That's, yeah. that's crazy. Uh -huh. Rude Mounds. Have you had any experiences? Any, any ghost stories? Well, when you come here and look all these Creek Indians came right through here and when people come in the daytime they say they look in my windows here when the sun's out at 12 o'clock you don't see anything but reflections and it's like yeah yeah I've, I've witnessed that coming through here oh so so the, what do they see in the reflection yeah I see Creek Indians walking by no way in the um, 40s my daddy right here at this spot found a baby in a shoebox what a little baby yeah and a, then like alive or alive yeah it was like 10 days old he was out squirrel hunting and he heard something thought it was a rat and he went over there with a gun flipped the top off and it's a baby oh my god yeah. and they put it took it to phoenix city and they adopted it and when alabama opened up the adoption records back 20 years ago this lady was writing on there and she wrote seal and it was like three people on the internet and seal and I was on them. She was like, I'm looking for somebody that found a baby in a shoe box. Well, that's my daddy. Yeah. You don't come to and the whole pile of them came down here and it was a big thing. Man, that is yeah. wild. That is crazy. I can show you my old museum if you want to see it. Yeah, where is that at? Warehouse Road. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's go. This is the old museum. Yeah. This is where it all started here. Where it all started, huh? Yeah. Put one bone in here and it turned into a insanity. I'm gonna start finding other dinosaurs in the creek. People brought me stuff. See, that was the, that was me holding the dinosaur. Oh wow. So, you said you were how old when you started? You brought it in here? Oh, I was about 14. 14. And, see, and what is this? Of kind of paintings I do where you can see inside of the person. Look in the hole there and you can see their bones and their guts and their veins. And Let's see if I can get it in here. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you stick it in here. Cool. So what was your inspiration for this piece here? Any inspiration? Oh, well, some man sent me some leg bones in the mail. I'm always getting weird stuff. So I just <laughs> them all and what, what is this? Rare mirror shoes confiscated from Seal High School in 1973. <laughs> yeah. See, the principal took that away from some kid. He had put those mirrors on his shoe and looked under the girl's dress. Oh! <laughs> Sneaky, this man. Is, uh, um, Atlantic 
sturgeon. Somebody found that in a dumpster at Coney Island, at the Coney Island Aquarium. I guess they threw it out and they drove that thing all the way down here to me. Good Lord. So this is where you yeah. get to work, huh? Yeah, I'll take these bones and I'll make things out of them. What is that? Oh, a snake? Me crazy things. Oh, this is a copperhead. People find these things dead in the road. And That's a copperhead? Yeah. Out. Well, I do tours once a month through here. If you write on the website and you want to take a, one of the monthly tours, oh, okay. there are about 20 people and walk them through here and take them, take them over the drive through, take them to my workshop. And and does it cost anything or uh -uh. is it donation? Do they, no. Are they able to give you donations or anything? They can give me one if they want to. Okay. Or buy a painting if you want to. Yeah, there you go. What is this? No one to blame but yourself. Yeah, that's John Octopus packing that shit. Man, that is amazing. Stuff I find in the creek. In the creek, is it near your house or is it on your property? That's about 10 miles down the road. 10 miles down the road? Oh my god, look at all this. get bone white then you can make something out of it so that's a white tail that's a raccoon this is a beaver see his teeth back in the 70s i used to live in here you used to live in here yeah make things out of bone Cozy little spot. Yeah, I can all kind of things and dissect them and make things out of the fur. This is where I paint my big paint. This is the house I was raised up in. Okay. This is where I lay them out and make a big bone quilt that hangs on the wall. Is that what you're making right now? Yeah. So you weave them all together with wire. Oh, cool. Hold on. Let me check that out. And it makes a huge... So it's like a bone quilt, you yeah. said. So I got a big one hanging in the Albany Museum right now down in Albany, Georgia. So different museums, man. This is, this is what it looks like when it... Except it's giant, like 10 foot by 10 foot. But it's real strong once you read it. That is cool. Yeah. Museumofwonder.com. You guys need to check this out and get you some artwork. This is one of a kind artwork right here. Yeah. See the uh, skeleton, my skeleton thing. This was a girl that died back in the 1800s and they took all her dresses and pulled each thread out of the dress and made these little wire flowers and then wove each flower out of each thread of that dress and that's all her dresses wow uh, it's called a morning wreath a morning wreath let's see i got a little 3d thing going on there see it moving in there oh that's cool so with all of these like old that. paintings and artifacts and stuff no no ghost stories in here nothing weird or unusual happening in your house oh yeah they said these people are gonna haunt me for painting on them yeah on like you paintings. hear any noises oh, in the I night or walking kind of and noises. stuff do yeah. you <laughs> but like 
voices and stuff like that. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty weird, so I don't really listen to it too much. Oh, so you don't, you just kind of ignore it? Yeah, I believe it's stuff happening out there. We got some big alligators around here too. Oh no, that's one thing I remember from growing up here, for sure. Man, look at that. Yeah, because like models used to build back in the seventy where it's like Invisible Man, where he's got the skin, the bones, and the, that's how I want my painting to look. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's one of a kind. It's, you're not gonna see this anywhere else. I'm in a car. Yeah. No, I appreciate you taking time out to, to show me the old museum and the new one, the drive-through. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to get some people out here just to, you know at the drive-through mm -hmm. to check it out yeah know? all right guys so that was the Museum of Wonder we talked to Butch Anthony such a unique character but such a cool guy he not only showed us the drive-through museum but he showed us the old museum where he used to have everything there were treasures there that I had no clue about such an awesome awesome location again go to museumofwonder.com check it out butch anthony buy one of his paintings he's a really nice guy and we want to support him as much as we can but thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe it just helps me bring more stories to you guys more investigations and you guys stay tuned for a new video this coming friday you don't want to miss it until then, keep searching, guys.